Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and it's about time that we finish another series in this long Road to Elite Smash. And it's a big series too, we're talking about the Mario series of characters. We have done quite a lot of Mario series characters such as Mario, Yoshi, well Yoshi's not part of one, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Bowser, Rosalina, even Piranha Plant, and there's only one more character left in this series that we have not covered in this Road to Elite Smash, and it's going to be Bowser Jr., but we're not even going to do Bowser Jr., as Bowser Jr.'s ults are the seven Koopalings, Larry, Roy, Wendy, Iggy, Morton, Lemmy, and Ludwig, but we don't really like Bowser Jr. as much. And I would actually pick Roy instead, as he's my favorite Koopa lane. So let's kick some heads in. Alright, looks like we have Zero Suit Samus up first, and I think this is an alright matchup for Roy, but let's go over his moveset. So we got his Down B, which is the Mecha Koopa, and this is move will be the Cannonball. A lot different from K Rule's Cannonball. It travels at a straight angle, but then gradually decreases in momentum, but it still has a lot of it going afterwards. That is his jab. It's a really good jab at that. And we're going to see an SD from ZSS already, so let's try to make the most of that as we can. I right, gotta be careful. The Paralyzer from ZSS. Alright, luckily missing the down smash. And his get deck really good. It was at this moment Jackson knew. He f***ed up. Oh, that is not a good way to lose our first stock. But luckily because of the SD, we're just on even footing once again. So yeah, his Mecha Koopa travels in for a little bit before exploding, so you can treat it as an item. As you can see, I just threw it away right there. Alright, Down Smash, a huge amount of damage. Uh, his Smash decks are a lot better than Down Smash, so you don't really see me use it a lot, but I like it. It's helicopter, helicopter! Pretty cool. It's like that up smash. Frame 6 up smash, by the way. And it's really, really good as an item shield option. Does a lot of good damage. So that was his up air. His up B. Got a little bit to talk about that. His clown card can explode if made on contact. His side B is, turns him into a card, and you can jump out of the card as well. Did not expect for him to continue going for the up B there as his down smash got shielded on, but it's alright. And even if it made contact, almost got him with a down smash. Alright, still got him hit by that. But nice jab damage. Does a lot. Can't even kill as well. Nice down B. Alright, and we're gonna spec up, go with the cannonball, nice, and we're gonna go for it. Road safety laws, prepare to be ignored! That! The other property of his side B, the cart, is if you tilt it back the other way, it could do some insane amount of damage, and was able to pick up the kill, as we got the master of the cart over here. Oh, no way. <laughs> Guys, it's Three, we're Roy, two, and we're fighting one. Roy! Man, this is probably the best matchup I could have gotten for content. This is this is already pretty fun. There are not many times in my life that I can say that I'm Roy fighting Roy, and they're not going to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's go on and see if we can talk about a little bit what Roy is doing right now, and that is going to be dying pretty soon. And getting the shield on the get-up attack and getting that up smash out of shield. Got the Mecha Koopa already. Bam. Trying to get him with that F smash. Haven't really talked about him as much, but you can angle that up, down, sideways, and it can do a lot of damage on shield. Really, really good. Down air, probably the only use of Chelsea there, but I like comboing out of a side beat. Good dash deck as well. Alright, does hit me from below the ledge. And now for the weather, who's our weatherman, Al? Al? It's gonna be hot! Ooh. Did not account for the Mecha Koopa to travel up that high of an angle, but should have expected it. 
Nice drill damage on the F smash and the cannibal going high just to see if he would jump. Alright. Yeah. Ooh, alright. Still living. Alright, makes it back. Nice, and we'll catch him with that up smash again. Get him down to his last sock and the Mexican people on the field as well. Alright, that is not gonna hit me. Doing a, two hits, not getting killed against. Do get a little damage before we die. 10% of that Mecha Koopa, and we got another one on the field. Alright, there's the Cannonball. He's gonna shield against that. That's how we can cross him up, since you want to shield against the Mecha Koopa, since if it gets hit in the shield, then um, it will become a dud at that point. Alright, so let's go for the forward air. Really, really good. Two separate hits as well, as you saw earlier in the first game, but we didn't even need to go to Mecha Koopa. We could just do another forward air. And win the game again. All right, and we got our third game against this um, Road to the Elite Smash, but the second one against Roy, doing some good jab damage, and the Mech Koopa does hit, so he should be dead with another backer. It was sour spotted, but it doesn't matter. That if it was fully spotted, it would have killed. He was dead no matter what. We get another Mecha Koopa. All right, nice. Even getting that last hit. All right, unfortunate, but we're still fine. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna mash out of that. I don't believe in mashing out. We do some nice damage as well. Give him the 53 with the Zappy. And we even get the pivot grab off of that. Really, really nice. Try to cover him in the mid. That would have been a really nice stock if that F smash connected, but we're all right. Still doing really fine, having a stock advantage. And we can go under the stage too. That's how far it can go. You can speed up the process of that. And get another F smash. Really, really speedy as well. Yeah, that's fine. And no, 27% off that punish, that was very, very nice, and his shield is still intact. 160, still living. He doesn't go for the forward air, so we're still gonna be able to live. Alright, we're fine. Are you sure about that? Alright, interesting. We'll take it, though. Dice it down at 160. I would not be teabagging if I were you. You are down by stock. You're getting a nice conversion down throw into Mecha Koopa. Get some high with, with the drill. He's not dead yet. Ah, uh, try to get him. That wand or hammer, if you're Bowser Jr., can do a lot of damage out of that. So let's go for the second <laughs> again. And there we go, we get it this time. Proving that you should not teabag me ever. I remember when that Palutena's did it to me that last time. And Roy, you should not be the one to do it. Of course, what makes it funny is that because it's Roy versus Roy, it's kind of hard to tell which Roy I'm talking about. But, you know, one's a turtle, one's a uh, sword fighter with red hair, so it's pretty easy to tell which one's the cooler one. Alright. Nice catching that uh, jump. Ooh, what does this button do? I gotta get out of here! Ooh, unfortunate. That was a lot of lag. No, that's not worthy of teabag, sorry. But yeah, I was, did mean to grab him there, but that you saw the lag on that one, that just didn't help. And yeah, you want to get a little closer with uh, Roy's F smash on the drill, because otherwise they'll be able to fall out of it a lot easier. Alright, makes it back, and so let's go for the jab, rapid jab punch, there we go. And he's already on even footing with us once more. So let's get rid of the Mecha Koopa as soon as we can. Alright, that's fine. Still fine. Oh, it doesn't get the second hit this time, but a good 20%, just like last game. And, yep, yeah, nice, we're doing really good so far. Another Mecha Koopa. We're just doing a good job keeping our distance, and he goes too deep, and now he's on his last stock. I haven't talked about up air, but some, but you can also do combos like, oh, that was a nice one. Into the jab. You can do up throw, up air. Those are some really good combos. Really stock a lot faster. And I don't care, though, ESD. It doesn't matter. We're the Roy that comes out on top. We're the Roy that's in Elite Smash. We're really just the only Roy that matters. Well, it looks like we are the Roy that came out on top today. And ironically enough, we'll cover the other Roy at some point in our Road to Elite Smash. Roy Koopa was able to get the Elite Smash crown over the less cool Roy. And honestly, no matter which Koopa lane you pick, any of the seven Koopa lanes or Bowser Jr., it's an alright experience to play. I the reason I gravitated towards Roy a lot more is because I remember enjoying playing him a lot in Smash 4 and thought he was a pretty fun character, especially as Psy B, just doing a ton of damage, being able to turn into a cart, I think that's a really cool move. And I think Bowser Jr. as a character overall is not that bad of a one to play, but I do see why a lot of people don't usually play him as much. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to leave a like down below and SMASH that subscribe button, you know the drill. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.